Everybody, herkese merhaba. Ayşin Önder ben. Welcome to Link Turkish Grammar videos. In this video, you will learn the easy way to ask yes no questions and four way vowel harmony in Turkish. Question sentences can be classified into two groups in Turkish: regular questions and yes no questions. Regular questions are the ones constructed using the question words like in English. Uh, such as ne, kim, or nasıl, uh, like wh questions in English. Uh, yes, no questions uh, are constructed using uh, the question particle me. Today I will teach uh, yes, no question for the third person version of the verb to be, uh, which is the easiest one. Third person pronouns can refer to people or things. Uh, in English we use he, she, it uh, for the third person. Uh, but in Turkish we have only one word, uh, which is o, and also we use this and that uh, to point specific things uh, in Turkish bu and şu. Bu is this, şu is that. Okay, look at the, some examples for the third singular person. Uh, bu güzel, this is nice, o Türk, uh, he or she is Turkish, hava sıcak. The weather is hot. Now I will add the question particle me at the end of the sentence uh, to make a yes no question. Uh, me is a particle, it's not a suffix uh, because it's written separately from the verb. Okay, let's add me in the sentence. Bu güzel mi? Is this nice? O Türk mü? Is he or she Turkish? Hava sıcak. Hava sıcak mı? Is the weather hot? As you can see, I use different forms of the particle, mi, mü and mı, uh, because this particle has four different forms, mı, mi, mu and mü. Uh, in Turkish, uh, if the suffix or particle has four different forms, uh, it follows four-way vowel harmony. In the last lesson, you learned two-way vowel harmony. Uh, you can watch this video to remember the first part. Now we are learning four-way vowel harmony uh, because our particle has four different forms. Uh, but the second rule may need some memorizing. And here is the uh, rule. If the last vowel in the word is a or ı, we use m. If it is e or e, we use mi. If it is o or u, we use mu. If it is ö or ü, we use mü. Uh, here are the examples. Market açık. The market is open. Bu yeni. This is new. Ali yorgun. Ali is a name. Ali is tired. Şu ev büyük. That house is big. Now we will add me particle uh, to make a question. Market açık mı? I add mı uh, because this word is ending with ı. Bu yeni. Bu yeni mi? Is this new? And last vowel is i. Ali yorgun. Ali Yorgun mu? Is Ali tired? Because the last vowel is u. Şu ev büyük. Şu ev büyük mü? Is that house big? I use mü because the last vowel is u. Let's see how to answer those questions. Uh, we are using evet and hayır to answer the questions. Evet means yes, hayır uh, means no. Market açık mı? Is the market open? If it is yes, you can say evet açık or evet market açık. If it is not, you can say hayır değil. No, it's not. Değil means not. Hayır değil or hayır market açık değil. Another example, hava sıcak mı? Is the weather hot? Evet sıcak. Yes, it's hot. If it is not, hayır sıcak değil. No, it's not hot. 
that's it for today. You learned four-way vowel harmony and asking and answering yes no questions for the third person. Uh, if you don't understand any part, please leave your questions under the video. Gelecek videoda görüşmek üzere. Hoşçakalın.